You've been talking with a potential client and they're ready to book you. So now you want to send them a contract, collect their payment, add their date to your calendar and confirm them as a booked client. A lead in Sprout is a prospective client, someone who's inquired with you but hasn't quite booked you yet. Once they sign a contract and pay, they become a shoot in Sprout Studio. You can convert a lead into a shoot manually, but you'll likely want to send what's called a booking proposal instead. This is a private guided webpage that walks your clients through the steps to book you, including having them sign a contract and pay. To book an existing lead and convert them into a shoot using a booking proposal in Sprout, let's walk through doing that now. First, we're gonna go into the lead here and go into the booking proposal page on that lead. And in the booking proposal, we're basically going to walk down the page from the top all the way down to the bottom to control the experience that your client gets here. The first thing is a scheduler. We're not gonna use a scheduler here because we already have a shoot date here for this lead. The second one here is the welcome message. Now you can use the default one that's built in or you can click edit here and customize what your client sees when they're first greeted in the booking proposal. Next, you'll want to add the options that they can choose from to purchase as they book you. So first we'll choose a price list here and then you can build the options for them by clicking add an offering. For this one, I'm going to choose two different packages for them to choose from. And then just below here under the add a la carte items, I'm gonna choose items that they can add on top of the package that they've already chosen. I'm just gonna choose one album right here. You can optionally add a questionnaire here for them to fill out throughout the booking proposal, as well as a contract for them to sign at the end. Under the payment terms section here, this is where you can choose how you'd like them to be um, paying you in terms of invoices. Do you want one invoice that's going to be due now? Do you want to have one invoice that's due in a specific number of days? Or do you want to have a payment schedule so it's split out into several invoices? I'm going to go ahead and choose one of the payment schedules that I've already got built in here. If your client has already paid you as you're going and building this, if you've already received something in person or an e-transfer or something like that, then you can proactively add a payment and it'll take it off of their package uh, as they're booking. And the last section here is thank you message. Of course, you can edit that the same way that you did on the welcome message up top. In the top right, we have a settings button. Let's just go into that really quickly. And one of the things that you want to double check is that you have the payment methods all set up properly. This is how your client can pay you. Just make sure that you've got the right ones turned on there. You can set those up in settings and then set your defaults up in there and then you shouldn't have to touch it again. And also just make sure that you have the right tax set up here as well. Otherwise, we'll click close. We will click make live and it will prompt you to send the email if you'd like to your client. And when you click write an email, it'll choose the default booking proposal email that's built in. And of course, you can change this or you can set up a new default in the back end of your settings. Let's now walk through what this looks like from your client's perspective. You can either click the copy link button or if you click view, it'll open it up here. This here is the welcome message. You can see what that looks like. And if you had edited this, then it would be different. We'll go ahead and click get started. This now presents those two packages that we built as the client uh, for the client to choose from. I'm gonna go ahead and just choose one here. And then this is the a la carte item that we added as well. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. And then down here, this is the payment schedule that we had built for different payments. And they're all split up there as well. We'll click next. And the next option is for your client to fill out all their personal information. Once they fill that out, if there was a questionnaire, they would see the questionnaire and then after that would be the contract. Once the client signs the contract, then you will get a notification in Sprout and you'll get a notification via email. And when you visit this booking proposal page back here in the back end of Sprout, you'll be able to countersign this contract as the photographer and then it will be now booked from a lead into a shoot. And so that's how you can book a lead into a shoot using Sprout Studio.